All right, so uh, the day of June 11th, or day three of installation has come and gone. This is technically day four that I'm filming this, but early in the morning, there will be a second video for day four telling you what, went ha what, what happened on that day. Uh, just to give you guys an idea on what to expect, the level of progress on your own solar installation. Of course, it's going to vary per house, but um, <laughs> yesterday was an insane day. Uh, they ended up taking uh, off the roof on this whole side. They took the roof off on the whole back side. They took the roof off on uh, the roof that's kind of over my porch here. Uh, <laughs> they took all that off. Uh, they replaced 13, uh, I think it was 13, pieces of plywood that actually covered the roof. It turns out that over a decade ago, um, one of the installers failed to properly water seal uh, a couple parts of the roof. So I actually had holes in it caused by water damage. Uh, I guess it wasn't leaking enough to really be noticeable on the inside. Um, we didn't have to replace any of the installation, so it must have been a very small uh, leak, but it was there. Uh, they did have to replace a lot of boards with it. Again, this is the sec well, this will be the third roof that goes on this house, but it did already have two shingle roofs on it before we tore both of those off to put on uh, the Tesla solar roof. So this, this roof has seen a lot of action. But uh, for a recap of things that went on uh, during the you know replacement of this roof, today. Uh, first, the initial teardown. They had a team of five guys tearing this down. Uh, they managed to do the whole front roof in about an hour, but it then took several hours to replace uh, the bad plywood spots located mostly around this section here. Uh, of course, they had a pretty good system of setting up a tarp and letting all the material fall down, so that worked out pretty great, and they had guys dedicated to just cleaning that up. So you know, cleanliness wise, I think they did a great job for what was being done because it was definitely a crazy adventure. Um, the Firestone material is looking pretty sweet. Um, it, it's really sticky stuff. Um, I managed to get my hands on a little bit of it uh, just to see how sticky it was and it, it sticks to everything. Uh, now, you're probably thinking uh, those two skylights there look a little bit sketchy. They are getting removed, but uh, today, the day that I'm filming this, we're supposed to have some nasty weather rolling in, um, and it's supposed to rain, so we're trying to keep that safe. Now, they did have to bend uh, some custom metal for uh, all the corners and stuff. It's all done by hand. Now, they, they do like bulk bend uh, all these sheets to fit uh, the angle of your roof so that it fits nice and flush to it. But then, you know, they do have to do a certain level of customization based on uh, just the design and layout of your roof. All right, another big thing that came in today was the solar panels. Now, you saw all this adventure in the last video. Uh, today, they dropped off our uh, solar panels here, uh, the, or the tiles, the solar tiles here. Here's actually one of them hanging out, pretty cool. I have a little more detailed video going through that on the channel for people that were curious and how they attach and things like that. So, uh, looks like five boxes of solar and then we have six boxes of glass. So pretty sweet, almost half the roof is going to be solar. Um, I think we're gonna be sitting around 10,000 kilowatts, if I got that right. Sorry, still learning all the, uh, the terminology. Uh, they also gave us a whole bunch of other boxes here. I guess it just have to, be, have to do with, yeah, just, just putting these onto uh, the roof. More accessories, more tiles, different sizes of tiles. This actually has a rubber coating on the back. Pretty, pretty cool. That's just the plain tile, no solar panel there. Here's some longer uh, plain glass tiles as well. They come in different sizes so that they can you know, fit them correctly to your roof. Um, this is another box of accessories that was here uh, from the first video. And we're down to just two and a little bit rolls of Firestone. 
And this is the, the nasty but awesome stuff. Look at that. Look how sticky. That uh, lets it stick to your roof. This is what's actually protecting your roof and keeping it from leaking. The Firestone keeps your roof from leaking. The tiles do not protect your roof from leaking. So right now, if they were to not install uh, these solar panels, the way this roof is, it is technically waterproof. It will not leak inside. Of course, if once they do all the, the edging and stuff and actually put the panels on it, it is definitely going to help a little bit. But technically with the Firestone, it is already uh, waterproof, which is pretty wild. So other than that, we uh, got a dumpster in as well. Uh, which is great because all that roof had to go somewhere. So they got a, a big, I think it was like a 30 yard dumpster. And uh, that's coming in quite handy for putting all the roof into there. And uh, other than that, uh, just stay tuned for more videos. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, leave your questions in the comment section down below. Um, I'll do my best to try to answer them and give you like in the moment information on what's going on so that you guys can have a better idea. If you order a solar roof and or power walls in the future, uh, you can kind of have an idea on what to expect from Tesla and just how they're gonna go about replacing your own roof and installing these things. I will have a separate section when the, when the power walls do get here. Um, originally, they were supposed to be delayed, I think, at like by six months, uh, but it sounds like they're only a couple weeks behind after after the solar setup, but uh, you know we'll stay tuned and uh, and see what happens. I know somebody did ask um, when I put in for this. Um, I believe it's been about six months. Of course, I'll double check that. You know, you do you do these things and then uh, you kind of wait and then and then they decide to show up. So I'm sure the delay for these things will speed up uh, in the long term, but uh, I'll definitely double check to see how long. Uh, I put in for getting the roof installed before they actually came out and did something. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.